All right, we've got a microwave here and the customer is complaining that it's not heating. So first things first, let's go ahead and test it ourselves. So all we have to do is open the door and put a glass of water inside. Let's go ahead and set it to work for one full minute. There we go, the cycle is done and the water is still cold, so it's definitely not working well. So to open up this guy and test it, we'll need this basic set of tools. So it's different drill bit sizes, a drill, a multimeter, a flat screwdriver and a pair of pliers. So all we have to do is unscrew the screws in the back and remove the metal panels surrounding the microwave. Perfect, now we can remove it out of the way. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and test every single fuse on our way and make sure they're working. So in this type of microwave we have two major fuses, one is right here and one in the back on the filter board. So go ahead and grab your multimeter and set it on the continuity test. So to test them right, we have to disconnect wires from each fuse. The second fuse I will be removing using a pair of pliers, like so. Alright, let's go ahead and test each component. So this component is working fine. And this fuse is in order as well. Unfortunately, in our case, it wasn't that easy, so we're gonna go ahead and test other components. So I wanna go ahead and test the magnetron next, but there is a capacitor in the way, and it's fully charged and can be dangerous if not discharged. So first, grab a screwdriver that has a rubber handle like so, and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going ahead and discharging the capacitor so we can safely work on the unit. So we're going to be shorting those two contacts together with the metal part of the screwdriver so we can work safely. So go ahead and short those two terminals. You might get some sparks, but it's normal. That means the capacitor is discharged. Perfect. Now the capacitor is discharged so we can safely work on magnetron. Go ahead and disconnect the connector so we can test it. And then go ahead and set your multimeter to 200,000 ohm resistance reading and test each terminal of the magnetron for its ohm resistance. If it shows a number, it means it's broken. So this pin is testing fine. And this pin is showing us reading. So what that means is that the magnetron is shorting out inside and there's definitely an issue with it. Perfect! Now we have to unscrew the two screws on top and remove the magnetron out of its way. Once the screws are out, you can remove the magnetron out of its housing. So what breaks those magnetrons is that metal pins inside break and then they start touching the metal body inside and shorting out the whole magnetron. So the best solution in this case is to replace the old magnetron with the new one. Now just follow the same steps and put in the new magnetron back in, secure it with screws and connect it back in. That's usually the case in microwaves not heating that the magnetron is faulty, but sometimes it could be the other fuse. Usually there is a fuse on top of a magnetron that you need to test as well. Now let's go ahead and put the top cover back on, secure it back with screws, and here's the most exciting moment. Let's go ahead and test it. Grab a cup of water and put it inside, close the door, and set it to work. Now a bit of patience and we'll have the result. I have prepared a piece of cloth because I'm sure it will work. I can already feel the glass is hot 
as well as the water inside. So the microwave is fully functional now and it's working. If you're still experiencing any other issues with your appliance, don't hesitate and call us at 1-866-244-6051. Please subscribe to our channel and if you could leave a like, comment, as well as share the video, we would greatly appreciate it. Stay in touch for more videos and let us know if you want something specific.